issue there. Why do you feel you guys, uh, with some regularity, struggle with defending the three other teams coming into this building, getting you know eight, nine, ten, today, twelve, made three against you guys? Well, in the Big Ten Conference, we have been guarding the three pretty well. I mean, it's an indication that we defended the three pretty well. Um, I just thought tonight. Second half, we were so flat coming out. I mean, something I hadn't seen. I mean, I look at their first possession to start the second half, and they got like, I think, three, four cracks at it. But we couldn't come up with loose balls or rebound. I mean, it was like we were step slow. And it's kind of disappointing because you play a good game against Iowa, and then you come back and basically lay an egg. Exactly, Mike. I guess Mike talking about that, that second half, did you feel like it was maybe a response to their defensive pressure, that, that sort of 1-2-2 two, two press that they were putting in and maybe just speeding you guys up, getting you guys out of rhythm? Not really. I mean, I thought we handled the press early, uh, built the lead based on them doing the same thing. Uh, and we didn't have this. The third, I think we had 13 turnovers. So that's in the ballpark in terms of where we want to be at 12 or less. So I didn't think the press really hurt us. I thought defensively by switching and, and recognizing, you know, they run a lot of what we call ghost screens. We just didn't have them correctly. I mean, we weren't up to touch tonight. I mean, just thought we had good intentions when we started the game because we came out aggressive and, and it just kind of wore away. Mike, I left in town. That effort in the second half, I mean, do you want more fire from your guys in response to that? I mean, who are you looking to? I mean, can you coach them out of that, or is that something that players have to recognize and kind of you know, show up and, and, and do, you know, do it themselves? Well, sure, I want more fire. I mean, come on. Yes, I want more fire out of my guys. They didn't fight tonight the second half. That's kind of disappointing. So we got to go back to work. And work our way back because I mean that's a game that I thought if we played well we had a legitimate chance to win and I thought we did play well early on and, and then we just had too much slippage defensively in the second half. How many left the Mike? Like how much of that flatness is just energy and effort and not showing up? Well again I mean I, you know I I'm not gonna throw my guys under the bus. They didn't. They just didn't perform the second half. They didn't. They didn't. They were flat as hell. Mike, you look to you in the Mason. Given what you're saying about the, the defense, um, how much thought did you give to going back to kind of a small defensive lineup that's given you success over the last two games? Well, again, we we were small at times when they took their big guy out. We went with one big, and we had small guys around them. That wasn't the difference. The difference was that we just didn't, we didn't switch correctly. We didn't do a lot of things defensively that got us to lead early. I mean, they didn't do anything differently. And we just got to be better over a 40 minute ball game. Mason in front of Zion. Coach, have you kind of seen anything that lends your, your team kind of susceptible to those long runs out of the second half that, that you guys have given up this year? Well, I mean, we've had our ups and downs when it comes to that, ain't no doubt about that. But, you know, again, you're not, you know, I look at the points, you, know, you give up 85 points, you're not beating anybody in the Big Ten doing that. You know, that's just not our, that's not us. You know, I mean, you got a chance when you're trying to hold teams to 65 and under in the Big Ten. And when we've done that, we've been pretty successful. Zan, you left last one. Mike, when you look at the offensive rebounds Penn State had or some of the turnovers you had, it feels like at times it's just a, a waning focus from your squad. What do you feel like leads to those moments? Well, yeah, I mean, you, of course, in the game you have breakdowns. And I thought tonight, the fact that we were flat, we just didn't have anything going in the second half. I mean, they dictated everything from the very beginning. And once we fell behind, it was just tough to get back. All right, thanks, Coach.